Interest rate to borrowers by 2% to 12%. Mortgage rates seem certain to go up by at least as much. The bank's action comes after more pressure on the pound. At one point, it hit a new low below $1.30. And pressures on the pound include a decision by Dockers leaders to call an all-out strike. They want to block all movement of cargo, though holidaymakers may still be allowed through. That's all from me. Sue Lawley will be here at 9 o'clock. Thanks, Maura. A letter from Helen Cannell saying, Last weekend, whilst in North Norfolk, I saw a fitting ecclesiastical epitaph on the notice board of a Methodist church. It read, The end is nigh. Darkness comes in 60 minutes. And so do we. Good night. <laughs> Wednesday night on BBC One. In ten minutes, Terry and you. We may have given up the empire, but I'm hanging on to the imperial measure. When I'm laid in my grave, I want to be six British feet under and not two froggy metres. <laughs> and at 7.20, the Wednesday film is The Double Man, starring Britt Eklund and Yul Brynner. What did happen on that mountain? He fell. The police report said so. Fell or was he pushed? He fell! At 9.25, Bob Monkhouse introduces his special guests, Warren Mitchell, Victoria Jackson, and Ronnie Barker. At 10.20, the first play in the series, End of the Line, five unemployed youngsters find a sense of purpose in caring for a horse. He's in our secret mind. Go tell the others. But not a word to another soul, you hear? Not a word. Alan Wicker looks back at the first million miles at 10 past 11. And that's Wednesday night on BBC One. Well now, before the first of those programmes, cartoon comedy with Tom and Jerry.